All right, time for a new epi. Um, I am actually the last weigh-in that I showed, I was 197. I'm back down to 192 now. <clears throat> That's a five pound difference. That's why, look, I'm not even flexing. I'm just sitting here and you can just see my, they're just, so this is why I always prefer weighing in the low 190s instead of the upper 190s. If I weigh 199, I'm much bigger, but I don't like the bulky look. I like the uh, Bruce Lee like shredded Kung Fu look. All right. I want to say this before we begin. You may think, because there's now 4,800 mainly women on my friend list, there might be five, six, or seven men. Don't like guys. You may think, because it's all women, and women may watch me, that I get hit on a lot. I get asked out a lot. Never. I don't get private messages getting hit on. I don't get private messages getting asked out. Never. <sighs> Never. So if you're sitting there, you might think, oh yeah, every girl's probably hitting on him. No. No. Not at all. No one. Listen to me. I made it clear a very long time ago that I refuse to lie in my videos because I don't want to be looked at like a liar. I'm home alone all day, every day, all night, by myself. I don't even hang out with guys because I don't really like guys. And I don't have any girls to hang out with. All right, let's begin. As per usual. Hello, my name is Jay Vargas and I am so very pleased to be making another epi with you. Today I'm just going to go off some random thoughts. I wrote down some of them. We'll see how many we can fit into the 15 minutes. I do want to say this. There are maybe five, six, or seven girls that if they actually put forth effort and asked me out, I would probably most likely say yes. All right, so, I've been reading a lot of messages lately from you, just topic points, nothing really crazy, that you are happy not to have your kids, happy to get away from your kids, happy to get a free night. Whenever I read these messages, it makes me so happy that I never had kids, but it's not that I don't like kids. I just want, I, I just don't want my own. So when I, if they're not mine, I could just leave, go home, and that's that. I have three nieces, 18, five, and seven, I believe. Love them to death. I'll kill a motherfucker for them. I really wouldn't kill anyone, but you know what I mean. Love them to death. But I am so happy I don't have kids, man. One, one lady earlier, was saying, uh, and I appreciated her honesty. She just flat out said she's tired of having kids. She, she said she gave up her life for her kids. They don't even appreciate it. This is where it comes into where I always talk about expectation and appreciation. See, kids, they just expect from you. But when they, once they get older, then they'll hopefully appreciate you. Some won't. Anyway. Let's move on to the next one. But yeah, I'm glad I didn't have kids. But I, I'm telling you, I see a lot of posts from you. Happy to get away from your children. It just blows my mind that people are just brainwashed to get married and have kids and then get divorced, pay child support and alimony. Why? Well, who wants to do that? Please explain to me. If there's like a 65% divorce rate. That's two out of three people get divorced. Do you really want to play those odds? If you're a girl, because women do get favored in divorce cases, if I was the girl, no problem. I would take that gamble all day and all night. But a man, now you're gambling like a motherfucker. Because if you're the one that has the money and everything, and then she takes half, that sucks. Okay, now this one. This one, this one's interesting. Now, you know how some people are heavier when they're younger, right? And then 
And then maybe later on in life, like say they're heavier when they're five years old to like 15 years old, and then say they lose weight. And as a older teenager and as an adult, they lose that weight and they become extremely attractive. A lot of people that go through that process will just be resentful towards all people and try to hurt people intentionally and screw them over. Uh, be nasty to people, use people more. So where I'm going with in this situation is this. Say for instance with me. I thought I saw a moth fly by. Say for instance with me. All throughout my life, I basically was leaner, worked out, and, and shit like that. And then once I got to like 28, which I'm 39 now, I'll be 39 in January. I started to gain weight from the pain medication, which I just thought I was getting older. So I used to look decent, then I gained weight. And I was so miserable. And, and I was always thinking to myself, wow, am I, I'm never gonna see the old Jason from years ago. That's what I always used to think. There was a moth. See, there it goes. I knew I wasn't seeing shit. So I, I, I was always thinking to myself, man, I'm never going to see myself like I used to look. I, I thought that for years. Seven, eight years, nine years went by. And then I stopped taking the pain medication. And I switched to the marijuana edibles. And in the first month and a half, I lost 55, 60 pounds. Just from stopping the medication. Not doing anything else. And where I'm trying to go with this is I looked better, gained weight, so I had that taken away from me. You know, because I, I, I'm not, I'm not Fabio here, but I was, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm on the better looking spectrum, I guess. Whatever. I'm not trying to sound conceited. I'm trying to tell a story here. God damn it! Stop. Just stop thinking shit. So being that. I used to look like this, then I gained weight, I never thought I was going to look decent again, and then it happened. And I was so appreciative and so thankful, and this is why I ever started even posting on Facebook, because I wanted to just help people to feel better. I know what it's like to be trapped inside your own head, inside your own house, and be miserable and have no one. Besides me, I did have one person. I had Kay. It's my best mate. It's my best mate. If I didn't have her to talk to, I would have, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who the, I don't know. Thank God for fucking, thank God I had her to talk to. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I was so appreciative to have lost the weight again. So I wanted to do something, you know, good. Uh, and, you know, I mean, I never expected to get to this far a year later. Jeez, it's been a year fucking already that been, we've been at this. I mean, that's long as hell. <clears throat> and I, this is gonna probably be like the fifth time I've said this, but in this mirror, after I lost the weight, it was probably like April. I, no, I, I started taking the, the Suboxone at, at the end of January. So probably like, yeah, March or April, I looked in this mirror and I, I got so emotional and so upset because I was so appreciative and so thankful that I looked how I used to look being that I never thought I would see myself like this again. It made me such, even though I was never a dick, I was never an asshole growing up. I mean, I was, I was an asshole, but I was always caring. I was, you know, but now it's just through the roof. Like I, I care more. I'm just way nicer. I, 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 I try to help people more. I appreciate losing the weight. Didn't expect it. I appreciate it. Appreciate it 100%. Okay, we're going to finish with this. All right, so I've been watching this show on uh it's the same it's the same show that makes 90 Day Fiance. Darcy and Stacy, these two twins. Um 
a reason why it's hard for me to want to talk to a girl is, is what I saw in, in, in this show. So the guy, or one of the girls, I think her name, it may have been Darcy, I don't know. Darcy looked at his phone and saw that a girl left a fire emoji on her boyfriend's Instagram. <clears throat> right away, starts spiraling, accusing him, thinking this, thinking that. And my point is this, is I could never be with a girl and her look through my phone. If you need to look through my phone, we shouldn't be talking. I would never look through your phone. Never, ever. If I had to look through your phone, I wouldn't want to be with you. To me, that's just somebody's totally private thing, in my opinion. And me, I'm very honest. I don't, I'm not hiding anything. I just think you shouldn't be looking through my phone. Who are you to look through my phone? And vice versa. Who am I to look through your phone? So there's no way I'd be able to talk to a girl doing all these videos that I do and her not get agitated with it or give me shit about it. It's just impossible. It's impossible. Yeah, I was trying to catch them off. Don't yeah. catch them, I'll put them outside. I ain't just gonna kill them. Come on, mate. Here, if you thought I was full of shit, I told you there was a moth in here. I wasn't, I wasn't blowing smoke up your ass. Hold on. Hopefully you don't fly away by the time I get to the door. I'll tell you if it's a success. I'm almost there. Got him. <clears throat> but yeah, my point is this. You're going to start a fight and a huge argument over... Someone leaving a fire emoji? He can't control someone leaving a comment or some stupid symbol of fire. Do you understand? So because someone left a symbol of fire, let's just cause a fight and an argument. Oh, it's so worth it over something so minute, something so stupid. It's not even worth it. So, I don't know. All right, we have some time left. I'm gonna I'm gonna fit in one more thing. This is um, <clears throat> it's a quick story actually. A couple about my black friends growing up. We went canoeing when we were younger. I told this story before. I'm gonna tell it again. I went canoeing with my friend, Romar Thaxton. I'm gonna put his name out there. I was talking to him on Snapchat the other day. He full of shit. Tell him he don't remember this. We all went canoeing. I think it was like me, Eddie Figueroa, Rich Thomas, uh, maybe Jack Deaver, the Snake, Chris Feibel. Who, who the hell else we went? <clears throat> we all went canoeing down Cedar Creek. So the age-old question, are black people afraid of water? See, I don't know, but this day sure said otherwise. Romar, the canoe tips over, which happens a lot when you go canoeing. Romar falls, falls in the water. Oh my God, it looked like he was in goddamn lava. Flipping, flapping around, screaming like a... Uh, whatever. I don't know. We were very young then. And there's also another person, his brother, that I owe great thanks to. See, now we're going back. I was in 10th grade with this story. Quan. We well, you know Quan, right? If you went to school with me. I'll go to battle for any of my black friends growing up. I'll tell you that right now. And, oh, seriously, any of them that I grew up with. F flat out. But Quan, one day, this big white redneck in 12th grade wanted to beat me up for some reason. So we're out in a parking lot. <clears throat> I forget who, but somebody went to go get Quan for me. Then Quan comes out and fucking grabs me and pulls me away from getting my potential ass kicked that day. Didn't forget that, brother. All these years later... So yeah, I don't like racist people. Especially the rednecks in Babel used to have the Confederate flags in the back of their trucks. Fuck you. Fucking redneck motherfucker. See, I could say it, because I'm white. I don't give a fuck. I don't like rednecks. Shouldn't be having a Confederate flag. But yeah, two stories from them. Love them both to death. Alright, we're stopping here. We're at the 15 minute mark.